In this specific video, you're going to learn how to customize your contact form in terms of fields and further customization of the contact form number seven plugin. So right now I am looking at the contact form, the one that we were previously looking at in the previous video. And what I wanna do now is simply to show you how to create the form. Now, if you look at the default form, you will notice that it has these tags, the bracket P bracket, and then you have these tags. The best way to go about doing this is to cr just copy and paste. So let's say for example that, okay, so I got their name, I got their email, I've got their subject line, and I've got the message. Let's say for example that I want to create a contact form for a quote for a specific company. So let's say for example, we'll use the funny t-shirts site. And in this case, let's say for example that I want to gather, let's say the name, the email, the I don't really care much about the subject line, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. I'm gonna have a standard subject line that says maybe T-shirt inquiry. So every time somebody submits it, I get that, and I can simply reply to that. And I got the message, got the send button here. But let's say that I'm gonna put the message here and I want to put t-shirt size or something. And let's say I'll do a drop down menu. And if you notice here, the cool thing about this is this gives you the ability to, you can check this to be a required field. And if you uncheck it, we don't have to make it required. These are optional. We're not going to focus on these. The choices are basically, it says one choice per line. So let's say, for example, that we have small, medium, and large. Large and extra large. And we got five different choices here. And the next thing you need to do, it says copy this code and paste it to the form to the left. Now, before we do that, if you notice the P tags and the break tags, these basically make it align so it looks nice. And then the break tags basically make it so that you have this and then you have this as the form field on the, the line after that. So you, it's kind of you're breaking it to the next line. So the easiest way to create new fields is simply to copy what's above. So for example, here, we're just going to enter and copy it here. And we're gonna talk call this t-shirt size. This right here is the title. So t-shirt size. And then this right here is simply the code, just like this code here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to replace this code with this code. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this. I'm gonna click on this. And if you click on it, it'll select all of it. You just need to right click, copy, and then go here, and then copy that here. So that's all you need to do. So t-shirt size. So we copy this code here and replace that. And if you want to make other fields, you can do that. Uh, you just need to replicate exactly what I did earlier, which is copy this, paste it, replace the text, and then replace the code with this. Let's say that I'm satisfied with this. The next thing I need to do is to put this code into the mailed fields below. So I need to click on this right click this and as you can see this information the name and the email 
It's going to be here. Name, subject, message, body. And then I could put something like t-shirt size. And this is going to be the message that I receive. So I do that and then you click on save. And now I can go back to the live site and just refresh the page. And as you can see here, you've got the name, your email, message, and t-shirt size. So it's really that easy. Replication is replicating the this so that you don't need to know HTML code. And that's it. And you can just further add more fields if you choose to do so and customize it further.